Hey guys, welcome back to the My Mate Podcast. It's been a, a couple of weeks since I've uh, uploaded one, and the last episode, as uh, I'm sure you guys know, was the, uh, the 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 one with Alex Deacon, who's a, a really good friend, and um, we spoke a lot about panic attacks. And the today's podcast, I guess, is a succession of that topic. Uh, panic attacks are interesting. It's really interesting for me to to look back on these things, oh, just so to give you a little bit of um, context with this, I'm going to re-upload a, um, a little, little piece I did about one of my first panic attacks, um, which was, which was last year. And, um, it was a, it was a really good, good one for me to upload because it was, it was tough for me to do. <laughs> but, um, it's really interesting talking about panic attacks and in, in what I've learned, um, and hopefully with kind of the, the stuff that I've been trying to talk about to give you guys value for this sort of stuff is um, the panic attacks are really just the the extreme of what, you know, that underlying fear can, can, can give to us. And they're actually a really beautiful thing, as we now know that panic attacks are, uh, are actually just trying to keep us safe from, from when our brains and specifically when the amygdala or the, or the cortex... Um, the big, the big analytical part of the brain, I believe. Um, please let me know if that's wrong, <laughs> but I believe that's correct. The prefrontal cortex, essentially, um, when they when they think that we're in danger, when when we're about to be uh, eaten by a lion um, or eaten by a bear, you know, every system in our body, the autonomic autonomic nervous system, is just trying to get us out of there. So it um, it makes us feel really, really shitty. And the thing about um, us today living in the 21st century is that, you know, at least for the Western world or, you know, hopefully the majority of people living in, living today, well, it's actually not the, really the majority, it's the one percenters, but hopefully you guys listening is that, uh, we're actually in a pretty safe environment, you know, so it's not often that we, we do have to run from a, from a, from a bear, uh, you know, so to speak. So that's, that's kind of the context behind today's, um, today's little episode. And in the coming weeks, I'm going to be throwing out some book reviews and things to you and, and, um, talking about some things that I'm studying at the moment. And just to give you a little bit of a rundown, we, uh, I've been doing some stuff into Carl Jung, looking into Carl Jung, who was a really interesting psychoanalyst. Um, and, uh, he spoke a lot about synchronicity and synchronicity. I've been really looking into meaning, um, to, tr- you know, specifically for myself as well, but also what I think meaning is. Um, in terms of, you know, we all say that we want a happy life and we all say that we want to live a life of purpose and all that sort of stuff. But how do we cultivate those two, I guess, components into, into an authentic experience? Um, meaning Carl Jung spoke about synchronicity and it's this understanding of coincidences that are so bloody meaningful in our lives that it's almost ridiculous to assume that they are just pure coincidence in a sense of there's, there's, it just could have happened for any particular reason. And a little exercise that I'd like you guys to do is to, to think about a time where something so coincidental happened and then it ended up being something so meaningful that happened in your life that you just kind of feel like, you know, and not not necessarily moving into a religious experience or, you know, but, but there was just something that was meant for that to happen. And they're really interesting because they, if you look deep enough into those experiences and you know we attach meaning to many things in our lives and we all have some sort of sense of kind of what we do or or what wants what we want to do to make us happier and all that sort of thing if you look deep enough into those experiences and you write about them I like to write about my experiences and all that sort of thing but if you look deep enough you can kind of get a grasp of why that was meant to happen at least in a sense of how you want to mold that and I think that's kind of what Carl Jung was getting at and it was really it's really quite fascinating so I, I I definitely uh, encourage you to, to, I think he wrote a book called Synchronicities and something else, but if you, um, if you can look into synchronicities, they're, they're really quite fascinating. Uh, a little bit of housekeeping, guys, before we get into the actual podcast, which is just my uh, idiotic voice talking about um, my first uh, real panic attack, which I hope is going to provide you some value. Um, my book, Yes, I'm Fine, Just Tired, it's going to be coming out today being the 30th of September, it will be out, and I can tell you this with 99% accuracy, it will be out on the 1st of November. So it's it's already technically out, I'm just doing a few things with the marketing um, prices, um, specifically uh, for the Australian distribution, so that's where I'm from, and that's where I think the majority of people that are hopefully keen to read it um, will be from. So 
1st of November. So I'm really, really excited and I can't wait for you guys to read it. Um, it's been a long time in the making, so much so that I'm actually halfway through, or at least a quarter through my, my second book. <laughs> so it's all, it's all happening. But um, guys, without further ado, I give you my first major panic attack. <laughs> 